Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to see several solar items. We have a lot to be watching in the days ahead. We've also got quakes, weather, and outlooks to cover, so we'll begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Where we find the eruptive activity is pretty low, but potential for space weather is growing. Apart from the massive coronal hole, we have sunspots and plasma filaments. All are stable for the moment, but we've got watches, warnings, and several places on the sun we're actively monitoring today. Let's start with the sunspots. Situation is largely unchanged with several active regions, but none of which are growing to gain major flaring potential. The biggest region, incoming top left, did a good bit of morphing around the last 24 hours, but it didn't really grow. You can see the twist and shift of the leading smaller umbral cores there. We'll keep watching. But of course, the bigger story is one of the five biggest coronal holes ever seen directly facing the Earth today. Earthquake and volcano watches are in effect. Geomagnetic excitement of the tropics is highly likely this weekend and early next week, and its solar wind could produce minor geomagnetic storms over that period as well. We've got eyes on the solar wind here amidst everything else. We already have a bit of seismic news as the southern Japanese swarm picked back up after taking an entire day off, five shakes in the swarm region following the goose egg the day before. We'll be watching that. We also have some interesting news out of the Parker Solar Probe. It's taken the closest ever shots of the solar wind, leaving the corona. Particles pepper the camera as it does so. Pretty gorgeous look, actually. And last but not least, folks, if you've been here for years, you've heard me discuss how over half, about 60% of the global warming they try to shove down our throats, is actually the higher nighttime temperatures not daytime highs. They finally are telling the truth in the mainstream, and I will say that one more time. 60% of what they tell us is global warming is simply just the hotter nighttime temperatures. Folks, we're doing a pole shift conference tomorrow. I'm pretty good at those at this point. Strongly recommend you making it out to one of those this year or one of our many other events. There are big observer events every couple weeks or every week if you catch the right month. And observers who show up randomly often get lucky and catch me there, in which case I'm often inclined to just sit and talk for as long as you got. Come see us, folks. Seriously. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.